we got air cooling versus water cooling. Now we know a lot of hardcore gamers prefer water cooling, but does it really work? Well, today we got a special video for you. I took my EVGA 3090 for the win three and I dunked it underwater with EVGA's hybrid kit. And I'm gonna let you know if it was lit or miss. Technology TV, baby. What up my G, it's your boy Fresco Technology TV. We back once again and today we got a very special video. If y'all didn't know, I love technology. Hence the Technolo before the G. And these days, most of my technology endeavors deal with gaming, of course. And, um, you know, with the release of Cyberpunk 77, um, I upgraded my graphics card from a 2080 Ti hybrid to a 3090 for the win three blower. And I feel like I was kind of missing the water cooling. So after weeks of stalking EVGA's website, I finally got my hybrid kit for my 3090 for the win three. Now I haven't had a blower car in a few years. I'm coming from a 2080 Ti hybrid um, and I felt like the blower was a little hot. Though it is new technology and new technology tends to run hotter, uh, I wanted to test that theory by getting it underwater. All right, first things first, we're making sure this thing getting hot enough to flip a couple burgers on, all right? So we're going 1440p with a 60 FPS cap. Preset high, except the shadow resolution, cause that's broken, that's on medium. Um, and we going RTX Ultra, of course, all right? And that'll get us to 100% GPU usage and push the card, you know, pretty far and get us playable frame rates at the same time, all right? So when I first test on the air cooling, uh, we had a little bit of temperature creep. I mean, all in all, temperatures weren't that bad. You just see that creep during combat past that 70 degree mark and it moved into that 72, that 73. And um, after prolonged gaming, you do get that 80 degree. I've been there um, on Cyberpunk 2077, all right? And like I said, all in all, those are okay temps. It's not really that bad, except when you get into the 80s there. And this is all on stock fan curves, nothing changed, nothing at all. This is all stock, all right? Now, when we get to water cooling, it gets a little bit different. So the starting temperatures are pretty much the same, uh, but when we roll into combat, it's more difficult to break that 70 degree mark. The hybrid kit does a great job of keeping the GPU under 70 degrees with no tampering. I mean, there's no custom fan curve, nothing. This is all default settings, all right? So out of the gate, we can already see that there's a difference in temperature regulation, okay? Now, let's get to our main question, was it worth it? All right, so now there's a lot of ways to look at this, okay? So I had to get this card as a blower because you know how it goes, man. Even though EVGA did a great job with the Q system, you had to get yours when it was ready and the hybrid uh, units were not out yet. So I just got the blower and I figured I'd get the uh, hybrid kit later, which I did. And what we have to understand is my warranty is on the blower card. So if I need to send my car back in, I have to put the blower heat sink back on there and that kind of sucks. If you buy the unit pre-assembled, then you have a full warranty on the hybrid unit and that's the best case scenario. So in terms of warranty and things like that, um, it wasn't worth it. I wish I got the pre-assembled unit. Now in terms of temperatures, I'm satisfied. This is what I'm used to. I usually get the hybrid kits pre-assembled. I'm coming from a 2080 Ti hybrid. So now these are the temps that I'm used to and I can set my curves in a way uh, where I stay in the low 70s or high 60s or you know, just you know hitting that 70 degree mark while I'm gaming. Um, I don't game above 1440p. I don't see the point. So I usually get pretty good performance in most every game. Um, but you know, temperatures are always the struggle and, and the battle. So I really think this hybrid kit uh, made that difference. I feel like now I have the card that I wanted from the start and it made that temperature difference. It really did make that temperature difference in my opinion, all right? So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments, how you feel about your 30 series cards going into 2021 how will they look at the end of 2021? 
especially with Nvidia's uh, event coming up later this month. And those of you on the 20 series cards, how do you feel about walking those into 2021? All right, so let's chop it up. And once again, it's your boy Fresco starting 2021 off right. Technology TV, be easy my G.